Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a fresh new episode of placement series. In this, I am going to discuss how to code and all the stuff related to coding. Come on guys, let's start this video and do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Hey Adish, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi Malin, thank you so much for the warm welcome though. So Adish, let's now start the coding adventure together and unlock the amazing possibilities that awaits us in the world of programming. Yeah, good to go bro. Adish, what is coding and what is the importance of coding in placements? Basically, when we come to placements, now all the companies come up asking about data structures and algorithm. The coding things covers up majority of the data structures and algorithm, which indirect like which is directly proportional to your level of understanding a problem and solving it giving the data structures and algorithms on those things arrays and all the data structures which are available so what happens is your company comes for the placements during the placement session into your college whichever college you are into and they will come up with several roles and they will come up with several options and several positions so based on the positions like if you go for a development role then they will be more into data structures and algorithm because that is what they focus on. They want to know ki how much you can code in whichever language they specify. So yeah, that is what coding refers to. Ki you should know to solve a particular problem given as a problem statement in whatever language you are proficient in. Yeah. Okay. So what are the various roles offered by the companies for freshers in coding field and what does each role mean? Yeah, so as long as I remember, we were like, <laughs> the placements were there for us very, not very long back. So the several roles right now can be like divided into majority of SRE and like SD, software development engineer and software reliability engineer. So SRE mostly is into networks. So yeah, networks is not which, something which I was very fluent in because it requires computer networks and all those things. I was always into coding, so I opted for the SD role. Inside SD, there are several, like, apart from SD, there are roles like DevOps, which handle the development as well as the testing. There are some software testing roles, which handles the testing of the things which are developed by the developers. Then there are some other roles mm -hmm. like uh, data analysts, so which will handle the big data and all those databases stuff. So yeah, these are some of the major roles that companies opt in for. Okay. So what are the various skills required for this role in terms of? Yes. Yeah. So coming to the role, basically SD, uh, you should be very much fluent with, uh, you know, like, as I told data structures and algorithms, because after the first round, when where like MCQs are basically the, uh, what we say, aptitude and all is done. After that, the second round comes to interviews or maybe a technical test. The technical test will obviously include some questions regard with regard to the data structures or algorithms or code snippets and all those things are covered in that. So from start itself, I would suggest we have a basic knowledge of one language which you should be proficient in and start coding in that language only. It can be Python, Java, whatever you feel like you are good in. And uh, uh, I would suggest you enroll into some, not into some course, but enroll into a like sequence of, you know, YouTube channels and all those videos and all those things. There are several resources available and be consistent. Consistency would be the major thing which you will need. It's not like you code on one day at the end of the month, 20, 30 questions. Be consistent, learn topics. Along with learning topics, solve the questions related to that topic. That is how you go into it. Yeah. What are the famous resources to study coding related topics? So yeah, coming to the like, I would uh, take some time and I would like go through a flow. So yeah, uh, for starters, what I would suggest is, as I told, choosing a particular language if you are in second year or maybe in first year also you can start. We started very late. So yeah, that is why I always tell you second year you should start in. So uh, there are several coding platforms. Every coding platform has its own significance. Maybe like if you are a startup person, then you can start with HackerRank and Hacker Earth. These platforms have a easy question basis which gets like harder as you move on. So you will get a basic language knowledge. Once you get the language knowledge, you can go into several sites and you can like, you know, keep refer those sites, refer the YouTube videos. Basically, if you need to learn any concept, you can refer GFG. I'll just share my screen for once and I'll like get through it. Yeah. Yeah. Platform. So this is the code forces platform. It is one of the like competitive coding. Yeah. To cover about competitive coding is like, it's a bit different from the normal coding. It's like uh, where, may, uh, you know, like the question level is a bit harder. You have a time constraint, you have rankings and all those question levels, ka, you know, like these are the level 
points for the questions so bit, depending on that you solve the questions they are a bit hard these i would refer like uh, when you are very much proficient into coding then you can start with these you can solve these questions they are basically problem related questions like they will have a problem statement which will have a particular use of you know see you can see your implementation and sorting so this uses sorting and the normal then depth for search and graphs and all those things it's like sorted along with the data structure which you have to use the algorithm which you have to use so this is another one of it it's code chef and like this is one of the most trending ones when it comes to competitive coding because it has various uh, weekly tests like lunch time and then even when long challenges there those things are there so as you can see like i was very much fluent in solving these so i used to solve a lot ha huh. coming to the most important what i feel is ki uh, gfg okay so gfg has questions as well as like all the courses which you can take through in this and everything which you search with regard to data structures or something the first link that comes up in google is gfg because it has various resources with regard to data structures and whatever you are learning into so if you are into theory first ki ha you should know ki what and all you are going to read i would suggest to go through gfg and then after that you can refer any of the youtube videos available like i referred love babbar ka series which is very much famous so yeah, from that you can do or you can do even apna college and all that now coming to the most important uh coding platform which i would say is lead code i would say this is most important because i saw many of my friends interviews the questions that were asked in this but most of them were from lead code okay so they just uh, kind of pick up the questions from there here and like as you can see there are many questions from and on the basis of you can like difficulty level and the list and all those things whatever are there you can sort it out and you can start solving on array strings whatever you feel like and then um, like these are the central sites which i would suggest you can go on with try solving one or two questions daily and yeah apart from that one more thing which i would like to cover up is once you start solving the questions maybe you will solve 200 or 100 or whatever after some time you might forget the like logic which you used so what i used to do is ki i always used to put them up on my github so you can see like having a good github profile will always help you with resume and with like you know making it a bit attractive also keep updating your linkedin is one of the points which i would suggest keep putting up your projects and whatever you are doing and you can see that like you make a repository in the repository you can just start with like whatever platform you are coding into and you can put up the questions what you have code so you can see i have solved so many questions on code forces and i have put all the solutions on my github so two years ago so for example if i'm solving watermelon question for like after two years and i don't know ki what to solve then i can refer my own solution or i can refer someone else's github if i get stuck so it's kind of you know like having a good sequence maybe yeah is like as as i told lead code was one of the best ones and after that i would like to cover up one more topic if you are going for off campus placements and all those things or maybe in campus placements also in your resume you can provide a portfolio link so this is my portfolio website which i have designed using html css and javascript as you can see like this has a very kind of attractive layout and these are the different coding platforms which i have a profile on and these are my social links and all those things then a uh, general introduction along with the resume downloading options the benefit of having this is the company person who is recruiting you can directly go to the portfolio and it's a one stop solution for the recruitment team so they would find it very attractive and alluring so yeah these are the different projects which i had done so like i have directly provided a link so you can click on them and like visit it i'm not telling you to this copy this yeah but have a portfolio website which is designed by you which will be one of your own projects as well and which will basically help you with the placements you mention your skills and all those things mention some friends if you want and then you can give your contact details so yeah this was just a brief idea ki having a portfolio would be very helpful yeah uh, so are there any particular projects required for applying these roles okay so yeah coming to the part i would take it as a resume resume is all one video is already done by marlin please go and watch it it's very resourceful and the next part what i would suggest is putting up internships and projects in your resume based on what you know like the company you are like referring for i won't suggest ki having one central resume based on the different role maybe if the role is of a java developer and you are good in java then try to align the java projects above the other projects so depending on that you 
make your resume like update your resume depending on the role which you are going for so uh, coming to the part of projects so projects mostly people prefer for like go for ml projects and all those things it's fine see they will ask questions regard to your project it's not something which is role oriented but i would suggest you having some good development projects in your thing is also in your resume is also a good option because they would know ki yeah, you already know bits about web development about app development so yeah i would say ki make some good apps make some good websites and apart from that make some good ml projects also and try to be a bit innovative like one of my projects was a game game development using unity so yeah they used to ask me in interview ki yeah, what have you done in it so i would suggest ki don't copy paste make it from like make it from scratch so that you know everything when they ask you a question from it and database projects and all those things are like in the curriculum only for the college people so it's not an issue yeah having these projects will be enough more than enough and the internship project should be up to the mark is what i would say yeah so adesh is there any particular language coding language for any particular role uh yeah maybe if a company comes up specifying that he or the company person needs a c++ person like for our case an office comes came up with a c++ role then uh, some companies come up with a java developer role so if they specify that yeah this is kind of the language actually the first round of the test will have the all all the language options not an issue like c++ java python these three primarily will be there so you can cho- choose from any three of them to clear the coding round but yeah if you, if the role is based on java then the person who is competing with you has a good java development skills can overtake and like can has a upper hand on you in comparison to you having a good knowledge in c++ so maybe some companies specify but the number of those companies are very less so i would suggest is having a good knowledge of c++ i did it in c++ because coding like is a bit easier in c++ the present options are good python is also fine because it's very easy to learn java is a bit hectic i would suggest it to use for mobile app development and all those things not for coding yeah so in the conclusion adarsh do you want to tell something to the juniors and all the people who are watching this video about placements and the coding in general yeah so what i would suggest is ki don't take coding as something which is kind of you know like a big thing it's not possible i would say ki you have to anyway start some day start from today learn many types of data structures and all those things which are available all the resources that are available uh instead of watching <laughs> reels try to watch more <laughs> watch madlens reels but yeah watch more youtube videos i would suggest which would be covering up your course related and focus on computer networks operating structures and all those subjects as well because interview is not only coding it includes the curriculum as well so apart from that what i would tell is ki be consistent as i told don't be like ha huh, if you can't solve one problem today then you will stop coding only till next day or not doing it you will fail in the start you won't find solutions try solving it with your like knowledge if you don't then there are editorials for every questions you can read the editorial and give it your own approach even if you still don't solve then you can see refer the solutions which other people have done it's no wrong in referring the solution after trying is what i would say so don't give up guys and uh, i would say ki dsa is one of the most important thing which 90% of the companies that come up for placements would be asking for so yeah have proper knowledge for that and have a proper insight so thank you adesh for coming to my youtube channel and sharing the insights on coding to all my juniors and all the people out there thank you so much malin for this opportunity yeah and uh, guys yeah keep it up keep watching malin's videos and all those stuff because many of my friends would be also coming up later Uh, handling different domains and any time you need any insights or anything you feel free to reach me or maldon or any of us on linkedin or whatever platforms yeah so all the best guys and keep coding